Mount Adams is a colossal volcano located in Washington state. Yet despite its grandeur, this volcano has often been overshadowed by its more famous neighbors, Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier. This dormant giant has remained silent for thousands of years, with no recorded eruptions in recent human history. However, in recent years, Mount Adams has become a subject of renewed attention due to a noticeable increase in seismic activity, raising concerns about whether this volcano is waking up from its long slumber. Now, the question arises, could Mount Adams erupt after lying dormant for so long? If it erupts, how dangerous will the consequences be? Today, let's delve into the history, geology, and recent seismic activity of Mount Adams, seeking to unravel the question, could this ancient volcano soon break its silence? Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Mount Adams is a high threat volcano that stands at a height of 12,277 feet. It is the largest volcano by volume in Washington, surpassing Mount Rainier, the state's highest peak. Mount Adams is part of the Cascade Volcanic Arc, a chain of volcanoes that extends from Northern California to British Columbia. The formation of this arc is the result of the subduction of the Juan de Fuca Plate beneath the North American Plate. This subduction zone is responsible for the volcanism in the Cascades, including the formation of Mount Adams. Mount Adams formed roughly 520,000 years ago, and it is classified as a stratovolcano. Stratovolcanoes typically have steep, conical shapes and are known for their explosive eruptions, as seen in Mount St. Helens, a famous 1980 eruption. Geologically, Mount Adams is unique compared to other Cascade volcanoes because it has a more subdued eruptive history. While Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier are known for their frequent and explosive eruptions, Mount Adams has experienced relatively low levels of activity. Its eruptions have been predominantly effusive, characterized by the slow outpouring of lava rather than the violent explosions typical of stratovolcanoes. This has resulted in the formation of large lava flows and domes that now cover much of the mountain's surface. The remnants of ancient pyroclastic flows and volcanic mud flows can be found in the surrounding valleys. Despite its dormancy, the volcanic structure is considered active with the potential to erupt again. After lying dormant for thousands of years, Mount Adams has recently shown an increase in seismic activity. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, six low-intensity earthquakes of magnitude 0.9 to 2 rumbled beneath Mount Adams during September this year. Scientists described them as extremely small and said people in the area wouldn't have felt them. Still, that's an unusual amount of seismic activity at the volcano, marking the most earthquakes at the mountain in a month since monitoring began there in 1982. Typically, the mountain sees only about one earthquake every two or three years. Seismic activity in volcanic regions is often an early indicator of magma movement beneath the surface, which can be a precursor to an eruption. However, not all seismic activity results in an eruption, and many volcanoes experience periods of increased seismicity without ever erupting. According to geologists, the nearby Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier often experience 10 to 20 earthquakes per month that may last for days to weeks. That is all part and parcel of background activity at the Cascades volcanoes. So the recent earthquakes at Mount Adams is not that all unusual. But soon after the earthquakes, scientists began working to gather more data to assess if this is really something unusual or just a volcano talking to us a bit more than it normally does. Previously, one of the challenges was that there was only one seismic station within about seven miles of the volcano. So it made it really difficult to get very accurate locations and depths. In response to that, the USGS has begun installing temporary seismic stations around the volcano to better assess whether an eruption might be on the horizon. Despite the increase in seismic events, authorities have said that there is no immediate cause for alarm keeping Mount Adams's alert level at green or normal. Apart from the earthquakes, there have been no other signs pointing to anything else going on at the volcano. The volcano last erupted thousands of years ago, 
but this relatively long period doesn't mean that an eruption is due. However, with the uptick in seismic activity, the USGS is being cautious, stepping up its monitoring efforts by installing more equipment. This will help them detect smaller earthquakes and understand the causes behind the increased activity. The last time Mount Adams had an eruption from the summit of the volcano was probably more than 10,000 years ago. And over the last 10,000 years, the eruptions that have occurred at Mount Adams have been around the lower flank of the volcano. They've been these cinder cone type eruptions and small lava flows that have traveled a few miles from the base of the volcano. So the USGS has also pointed out that the biggest risk to nearby communities comes not from lava flows, but from layers, mud flows of rock, ash, and ice, which can occur both during and without an eruption. These layers can travel long distances, with past ones reaching far from the volcano roughly 6,300 years ago. To better understand the potential risks posed by Mount Adams, it is essential to have a general understanding of how volcanic eruptions occur. Eruptions are driven by the movement of magma, a mixture of molten rock, gases, and crystals, from deep within the Earth's mantle to the surface. As magma rises, the pressure decreases, allowing gases within the magma to expand and escape. If the magma is rich in gases, it can cause a violent explosion, resulting in an explosive eruption. If the magma is less gaseous, it can flow more easily, leading to effusive eruptions. Volcanic eruptions can also vary in size and impact. Some eruptions are relatively small and localized, causing minimal damage to the surrounding area. Others, like the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens, can be catastrophic, resulting in widespread destruction, loss of life, and long-lasting environmental effects. The type of eruption that could occur at Mount Adams depends on several factors, including the composition of the magma, the amount of gas trapped within it, and the overall pressure within the volcanic system. Mount Adams generally produces effusive eruptions, characterized by slow-moving lava flows rather than destructive, explosive eruptions. But there's a concern about the large amount of hydrothermally weakened rock hidden beneath the ice-capped peak. This weakened rock could potentially trigger landslides in the future. Layers are a particular concern in the event of an eruption at Mount Adams. These fast-moving mudflows composed of volcanic ash, debris, and water can travel great distances and cause widespread destruction. The valleys surrounding Mount Adams have been shaped by past layers, and a future eruption could trigger similar events. Communities located downstream of the volcano, such as Trout Lake and Glenwood, would be at risk from layers in the event of an eruption. Due to this potential danger, Mount Adams is classified as a high-threat volcano. Although Mount Adams has remained silent for centuries, its potential to erupt again cannot be ignored. The history of volcanic activity in the Cascade Range reminds us that even long dormant volcanoes can become active with little warning. As such, it is essential to remain vigilant and prepared for the possibility of an eruption. With continued monitoring and public education, the risks posed by Mount Adams can be mitigated, ensuring the safety of the surrounding communities and minimizing the impact of any future eruptions. For now, the Cascade Volcano Observatory and the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network will continue monitoring the situation closely and provide updates as needed. What are your thoughts on Mount Adams erupting? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.